everybody, it's Michelle Hart, mornings on 107.9 Light Up M. Today we're having coffee with our friends for Camp Rainbow Gold. Why don't you guys go ahead and introduce yourselves and what you do at camp. I'm Elizabeth and I'm the Executive Director of Camp Rainbow Gold. I'm Ashley Hook and I am the Development Associate for Camp Rainbow Gold. Now for people who aren't familiar with Camp Rainbow Gold, maybe they just moved here to the Treasure Valley, um, can you explain what Camp Rainbow Gold is? Thanks, Patrick. Certainly. We provide emotionally empowering experiences for Idaho's children diagnosed with cancer and their families, and we do that through camp programs, college scholarship program, and a teen support group. So how many camps do you guys host a year, and what other kind of events do you guys do outside of those camps? We have five camps. So. Camp Rainbow Gold is unique in that we believe that it's the entire family impacted. And it's not just that we believe it, it's been proven. And so we support the entire family. We start off our season every year with a family camp where the entire family can come up to camp. And then during the summer we have a camp that's for the siblings, just the brothers and sisters. They get their very own camp so they get all the attention for a week. And then we have a teen camp where the children diagnosed with cancer ages 13 to 17 come up to camp. And then a youth camp ages 6 to 12, and those are the little ones that have been diagnosed with cancer. And we end our season with a fall family camp where they can all come up again together. In addition, year round, we have a teen support group. We heard a lot of feedback. Those teens really need some additional support, and they want to see each other more than one time a year. And so, eight months out of the year we have an uh, event where they come together and get to do something fun and support each other through some of the struggles they're dealing with and then we have a college scholarship program because uh, cancer is not only emotionally difficult and physically difficult it's financially hard on the family and so we uh, to date have awarded more than seven hundred and fifty thousand wow, dollars to awesome. Idaho children going to college so I remember being at the Funzie dinner a couple of years ago yes. and hearing one of the girls that got the scholarship speak, and it yes. was so, so cool. Carly, she's pretty amazing. So obviously with the connection to childhood cancer, um, this Be The Match event that's coming up on Monday is near and dear to your hearts. Um, can you explain what that is to somebody who's never heard of one of the Be The Match campaigns before? Yes. So Be The Match is an opportunity to come and it takes minutes to get your cheeks swabbed. And the purpose of that is so that you could become a donor of either stem cells or bone marrow. And there are a lot of, not only children in Idaho, but adults as well that need a transplant. And 70% of those that need one have to go outside of their family to find a match. And this is a organization, Be The Match, that collects those swabs, does all the processing to see if you match someone on the registry. And actually, I know you were talking, the technology has kind of changed for people that have been bone marrow donors in the past. What can they do other than like, I know we used to go into your pelvic bone to get the marrow. What's some of the new technologies? Um, a new way for them that they've been able to do is through your stem cells with your blood work. And so um, definitely less, you know, not hurting as bad or anything with how it is with your pelvic bone. So I know this event to get like kind of grew from just like one little event you guys wanted to do at the camp office to something larger. Yes. Explain why you guys put it together. So um, sometimes it just, what we do as an organization just doesn't feel like enough. We had a difficult summer and um, we, there's been two young ladies in Idaho that uh, died from their cancer. And in addition, in the same time frame, it's been about a month, we've had several campers relapse. And uh, we were just feeling kind of helpless and wanted to do more. And when um, it really started with the mom, Jennifer of young Devin, uh, battling up in Wood River Valley, everybody was asking her, what can we do, what can we do? And she said, be a donor. And so it actually started up in the Wood River Valley. They've had several swab parties collecting donations. There's uh, one in Twin Falls, and so we said, we'll do one of those. And when we started talking about doing it, it grew from being at our office to now in Capital City Park. There's also gonna be a group in Meridian, the Cincy office. They said, we wanna do this, so you can go there. And there's also uh, an opportunity in Jerome, Idaho, and Mountain Home, all on the same day. Oh, how cool. To uh, go be a, get your cheek swab and be um, possibly the hero that saves a life. So tell us a little bit about Devin. Uh, she's beautiful. She just had her birthday this week. She uh, loves horses. I have a great picture of here of horses. Um, 
and she loves soft, softball, animals, basketball. She's very athletic and active young lady, and uh, she needs a transplant, a bone marrow transplant. She has a twin sister and a beautiful family. They live up in the Wood River Valley, and she needs a match. So Monday, make plans come out to any of the five locations. Of course, you guys probably have those online somewhere, right? Uh, they are on our Facebook page, awesome. Camp Rainbow Gold. We have an event out on our Facebook page where it lists all the details and we'll of course give you those details as well. Um, but the Capital City, Downtown Boise, Dutch Bros will be there serving coffee. So come out and get your pumpkin spice lattes. Yes. <laughs> um, For a good cause this time. <laughs> <laughs> and um, also out at Cincy. Awesome, so we'll make sure that we get all those links up for you guys to check out at lightonline.com.